little mountain farmer here. So we're up here on the mountain working on the the Oliver Lull 1960s Oliver Industrial Tractor. That's where the operating area would have been. Blanked her out. Anyway, so we're in the breaks here. And what we found is we got a seal leak in here. That's why we weren't getting any braking action. The uh, surfaces look good. Um, they're pretty heat scored from uh, riding the brakes with a bunch of grease in there. But uh, we'll run the wire wheel on them, sand them. But the um, ball bearing pockets look really good. Cleaned all those up. Uh, so I gotta order some new brake <clears throat> brake discs and uh, get a new seal for in here because that's the braking inner braking surface there. Uh -oh. Yeah, she is a greasy, greasy mess. So. Trying to figure out how to get that off of there. I guess it unbolts. Yep, five bolts there. So, pop that off and see if we can get to the seal in there. Something else just dripped on me. But the, uh, <clears throat> this side was super greasy. And let me show you the other side here. And that side was all rusted out. And it uh, looks like they had some issues getting it off or something, but they uh, did a number on this friggin' on that surface. Wow. I mean, that was some grinder marks. But, um, yikes. But anyways, I took this one apart, cleaned up the insides. And this side I've already resurfaced with the flap wheel. It was completely rusted and wasn't uh, wasn't working at all. But yeah, so the inside of this was pretty rusty, but I cleaned it up and ball bearing. So you pull on this, and it squeezes these together. And because of the ball captured ball bearings in there, it forces it open, <coughs> applying pressure to the discs. You can see these are pretty smoked. And I'm gonna reuse these, I guess. Not too bad, but yeah, no brakes. Didn't have brakes, but this one is much, much better. But you can see the uh, the heat shine on that. Oh, this one was stuck. Yeah, this one was jammed. The inner inner brake wasn't moving at all. It must be stuck in place. So. <sighs> Yeah, I'm just going to hit that with the grinder, call it good. Uh, this is the outside surface. You can see how rusty and pitted that was. That was just uh, sliding on a, on a layer of scale there. So we got the PTO cover off. Yeah, can't see anything in there. Um, this is damaged here and damaged there, so... Oh, since I got the brakes off already, I could probably just pop the probably just pop this cover off. See what's going on in there. Um. Anyways, have you ever heard of a Rude Goldberg machine? This is the definition of it for sure. This is your shifting lever. Um, there's your normal transmission there, and then this comes over here, this funky apparatus, and goes over there, and they, uh, 
Yeah. Back before computers. Anyways. Okay, so we're looking inside the old gearbox here and see what we can see. I mean, looks good. Oh, there's some olive green. Uh, that looks like there's a. Uh, Maybe water getting in. Those look okay. Looks like they had a little rust on them. I'm sitting and then they get, you know, run again and they, oh yeah, there's some rust in them. But, I mean, look at the size of that bull gear. <laughs> Don't matter none. Alright, I was going to pop the cover off, but I think um, it's going to drain a little oil out and see if there's any water in there. And there's some more olive green. It's hiding. It's inside. It's on the bottom. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll drain a little oil and if something comes out, we'll uh, pop the top off here and reseal it. Alright, so I just drained some oil out of there. Didn't get any water. Looks like it's got um, maybe a little transmission fluid is, is uh, leaking in there. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad, and I'm not paying for the the oil, so we'll just replace what came out and uh, call her good. There was no water in there, so it's uh, it's sealed on the top. So this did this uh, PTO seal was leaking. I could see rust on the bottom of the hole there, so that's going to get a generous helping of silicone sealant. Alright, so we got the inner um, brake housing off. And from what I can tell here is that uh, this is just the wrong seal. Somebody came in here and put in a new seal because it leaked. And it probably leaked worse after because the uh, there was a layer of grease all the way around on the surface here. And that's supposed to be you know, pushed flat and contacting the um, the axle shaft. So <clears throat> we got to find the right seal for this. All right, folks. So we got our new brakes for the uh, lull here. Leave the forks out so I stop fucking tripping over them. Anyways. Um, Got the parts for the low. We got the correct seal for the uh what do they call this? The the um brake it's the brake shaft, it's it has its own shaft, and that's all this whole housing is for, it's just the brakes. But they had just put some Napa seal in there and it wasn't sealing tight. This one I just checked it's tight and uh much higher quality. Uh, yeah, much more quality than, than Napa. Anyway, so, yeah, we'll get these back installed, and uh, we changed the oil and put a new solenoid on the starter here, the correct one. The other one wasn't working good, but this has a auxiliary push-button start, so that's really nice. Um, rinsed out the gas tank, got all the filter, you know, new filter... There was a nail in the gas tank clogging up the um, the outlet on the on the tank. It's stopping the fuel, so fix that problem. Anyways, we'll get this seal installed and get this brake housing back in there. And uh, yeah, 